Hi guys, thank you so much for being here and I really do hope you're doing well. One of the hardest things to do when you are in nature or camping in the wild is to remain unseen. Even the dullest colours in their block pattern formation can make you stand out and draw attention to you. And that's not great if you're, you want to sort of be out in the wild and, and enjoying your own solitude and being one with nature. So for the foreseeable future, I've traded out all of my clothing, my outdoor clothing anyway, for multi-terrain pattern. Now this is all British Army current issue. And because it's British Army current issue, I know it is tough and hard wearing. That means it's gonna stand up to the rigors of nature. Now this is the part in the videos where I normally pop up the specifications, but clothing, it all depends on your size really, doesn't it? So the specifications are gonna be your size, and of course the weight will change depending on how much fabric you need. Let me talk you through some of the great features of these. I think we'll start with the smock. The smock is CS95 issue, which is Combat Soldier 95 pattern in multi-terrain pattern. It's a bit of a mouthful, but I did manage it. Okay, let's look at the features. First of all, we'll look at the, the hood because it's great windproof hood. And just in case you can't hear me when I've got it up, there is a wire rim. I'll show you that function. So the hood goes up very easily. It's very deep, so it's going to keep the rain off me, which is great for me particularly because I'm a glasses wearer. The hood mold in any way that you want due to the wireframe you can even completely wire it closed if you so wish which is nice to have that different type of maneuverability malleability with a hood because hey hoods are used for different environments aren't they um, on the back here is a button so that when the hood is not required oh that was a tight fit i should have undone my button a bit so when the hood's not required it is easy enough to roll it back and keep it in place. Let's look at the chest pockets. The chest pockets here are two large bellows pockets held in place by a sturdy plastic button and it's very easy to open these buttons. I know I've got fingerless gloves on today but I'd be happy probably opening these up with just regular thick fingered gloves. Inside there's just a large open space that's the same on both sides. Next to them there is two double zippers. Let me move slightly closer so I can show you. So the, the, yeah, there are two single zippers making a zipper on each side. Very large space, allowing air to vent out if you require it from your body, but also a great space to place items. Inside is a smaller pen pocket. The same is true on the opposite side. Here we have a rank tab. Um, as I'm not in the military, I probably won't be using this much, but I think I might be able to use this for uh, some of the other features, such as holding my mic clip next time when I'm not showing you about the rank tab. If we move further down, here we have two more bellows pockets, very deep in fact, you can carry quite a lot, held again with those plastic buttons. We have windproof cuffs, Velcro operated. Up here we have a Velcro patch on each side of the arm so that you can, if you're in the military, hold your uh, position on there or, or a fix your position. Or if you're just an outdoor enthusiast, you can have some cool badges on there. Um, you could have a, a Union Jack badge or a flag for it wherever you are. Of course, being a um, British Army issue, there is a Union flag right there. If we move up to the zipper area, it is held together. Well, before we get to there, it is Velcro closed. Again, nice stormproof zip. Stops the wind getting in there. But you'll also notice that the toggles draw a string actually clip together, which is a very nice feature. I don't know if I'm doing that the right way. No, I'm not. That's why it's not going together. They just pop together like that so that you can do a draw a string equally and evenly. And then they snap apart with the push of a button. If I can do it, there we go. So opening up the stormproof flap over the zip, which is held together in in place with uh, Velcro. I'll be undoing the zip, it goes all the way down. The other nice feature of this long smock is that it very much covers, I don't know if I'll show you, it covers pretty much nearly down to my knee, enabling me to sit down without getting my trousers dirty, just the outer garments dirty. So we'll open this up now. And you must excuse any wires because I'm recording sound separately. So right down to the bottom as we open up, 
you'll see there is lots of drawstring options. The drawstrings are at the back there, up around the head, and I'm sure there's another one. Oh yeah, and there's one around the actual base down here of the coat so you can draw it down. So you have lots of options to make it customizable to fit your particular shape. The shoulders up here are part lined as well. Moving on now to the combat shirt, which is PCS issue, standing for personal combat system. It is in the multi-terrain pattern. I'm going to turn around so that you can see the, the different angles of the shirt, and then I'm going to come a bit closer to show you some of the details. Okay, so the first thing that I think I want to talk about is the pockets. Where are the pockets? Great question, isn't it? The pockets are actually in there. Velcro open, Velcro closed, and they go pretty deep. They go all the way across the chest each side allowing also for air ventilation as well as being a pocket if you're hot you don't want to take a layer off you can open this up let some of the heat out on an angle in there you can see pen pockets just here nice on an angle easy access there's one of those as i say on each breast side um next to that before we move on to the arms is another rank tab or rank slide um pretty pretty much the same as the other one i have no use for it being um uh, civilian but but I, I'll find a use for it it's there anyway because this is genuine army issue and they need it in the army up on the arms we have an angled pocket so I'm going to try, try and stand straight you can see here that a regular pocket would kind of be in that configuration to grab into a regular pocket you'd have to contort your arm these are made for easy easy opening with velcro and then your arm goes in at a very good level so the arm is all virtually horizontal across the body making it very comfortable it's a standard pocket, there's not much more to say about that. Further down on the arm there are two areas here where, put my finger in, they're a bit harder to open up, but they're smaller Velcro pockets. Again, they probably go as deep as, as that. There we go, my finger in there. They, they go, go around to about there. So you could sm store smaller things in there. You could dry out some tinder in there. On the cuffs you have an adjustable button there we are you can button it up and that's concealed in the Canadian style the same is true on this side again with the button fastening the two pockets and this angled pocket up here moving on now to the zip the zip is a stormproof zip held together with velcro so you open use the zip to to open up don't worry i'm not naked i've got a t-shirt on under this <laughs> you're worried there for a second and it's just a zip all the way down so i'm just going to pull that back up because it is rather chilly here the other thing that i want to mention easy enough to seal yourself in the other thing i want to mention is under the collar there is a velcro stormproof tab again just you can take that off it has a, a male vel Velcro there, and on this tab, on the both sides, there is a female vel Velcro. You have a, another male vel Velcro uh, tab on this side, so you can lift up your collar, oh, and providing that you don't miss, you can tighten your collar up so that you have windproof protection. You don't always have to have it down. There we go, and again, that just folds back into place. I'm going to show you that closed. Closed, it just rests in, so it's nice and nice and easy to erect or put down depending on your requirements okay guys let's take a look at the combat trousers just like the combat shirt i've just shown you these are pcs issue in mtp that's a lot of acronyms first of all the pockets are mesh lined which is a very very nice feature on this side there is also an additional pocket which is zip controlled enabling you to hold smaller items quite securely. The crotch and seat of these particular trousers are reinforced for greater wear and tear. And the belt loops are three inches, so they're quite a large belt loop enabling you to hold a more substantial tactical belt. On the pockets at the back, please excuse the shot, um, you'll notice that the, the button is concealed. And it's just a regular pocket, but it's a concealed button so that you're not going to sit down and snag that in any way. 
Moving on to the trouser pockets. This one's full with my sound recorder, so we won't go into there, we'll go into this side. Again, we have that concealed button, meaning you're less likely to snag this. And you'll notice that they're on an angle. So if I try and stand straight, they are coming down on this kind of an angle. Again, enabling you for easy access, regardless of which hand you are using. Inside the pockets, they're pretty standard. It's just a big pocket, but it's a very useful pocket, as I'm sure you're aware if you own any kind of combat trousers. Down at the ankles, we have... Oh, nearly fell over there. We have ankle ties that enable you to cinch up your trousers around your boots. Particularly good if you don't want to lose heat and you don't want creepy crawlies or ticks or anything going up your trousers. I've had to put the smock back on simply because without it on, even for those few moments talking through the features, it's really started to chill me out. It's a cold wind here in the UK. The smock has completely alleviated that and I'm starting to really warm up already. Those were the features. Let me talk you through the benefits. I think the benefits for these types of clothes, mainly for me, is the durability. It's genuine British Army issue. It's meant for soldiers, doing soldier stuff. Me walking around the woods doing outdoor things, and you doing those types of things, it can certainly handle that. Accessibility is also important. The pockets are angled, they're large, you can put lots of things in them, you can root around in them very easily. It all makes this very accessible for the items that you want to carry with you. The adaptability is also great. The, the fact that you can draw the strings in, you can maneuver things to suit your particular environment enables you to be better adapted to that environment. It means that you're going to have what you need when you need it. And of course, invisibility. I know I've just been a talking head this entire time, haven't I? Well, it's not true of visibility, but the fact that you're camouflaged does mean that you're most likely going to be able to remain anonymous when you're out and about in the woods. Uh, not just the woods, in fact. Multi-terrain pattern is exactly that, multi-terrain. It's designed for a multitude of different terrains to give you a good particular amount of camouflage when you're out and about. It's certainly be better than wearing a bright red t-shirt, isn't it? Um, and if you're into your solitude, I think that's a really good key feature. I've particularly been bothered by people before that just, they're not, I say bothered, they're just curious. They come over, they want to see what you're doing, they ask you loads of questions, but if you've trekked for two hours, just have a little bit of enjoyment on your own in solitude. That's not what you want. And this kind of clothing can certainly help you with that. I'd say that prolonged wear of this type of clothing in public may be a little strange, but if you're wearing it out and about in nature, people just won't care as much if they even see you at all. The other great feature of having clothes like this is that you can literally go and be out and about, enjoy the woods, have a bit of rough and tumble. I can sit down on a log right now and it's going to dirty up the smock and it's not going to wreck any of my regular good clothes. That's a great, great feature. You can get it as dirty as you want. You just throw these in the wash or clean them off with, with a sponge and you're ready to go again. And you don't have to worry about your 50, 60 pound jeans getting a tear in them, getting dirty. That really does set your mind at ease and it enables you to be free when you're out and about enjoying nature. It's hard wearing stuff. You're not going to wear it down very easily. Buy this and more at meanandgreen.com.